Electrically powered vehicles are still the exception on roads, but this is set to change soon. After all, without electric cars and plug-in hybrids, the climate targets set by politicians will not be achieved. People talk a lot about plug-in hybrids and electric vehicles. When they do so, they have often in mind battery and electric motor. Thereby, they forget one important component, the power electronics. It plays a major role in power, efficiency and fun to drive. Power electronics form the control centre and brain of the electric drive, connecting the battery and electric motor. This means it supplies the motor with electricity during drive phases. However, during recuperation phases, when the car is braking, the motor works as a generator and the newly generated electricity flows back, charging the battery. A Continental motor test bench in Nuremberg. Here it will become clear how well the latest generation of power electronics performs this task. As head of development, Axel Weber is in charge of this project. He knows that the challenges placed on power electronics are greater than they first appear. The function of the power electronic as a main control unit between the high voltage battery and the motor is really complex. The motor requests AC current, but the high voltage battery delivers DC current. And this problem is solved by the power electronic. And this is just the beginning. Power electronics also feed the vehicle's onboard power supply with electricity, which is normally designed for 12 volts. They ensure that the electric drive works effectively at all times. Old and new. Two generations of power electronics with a completely different look. Only the measured values really count. We are now performing a test to measure the most important features of the power electronic to show uh, the progress we have made. The first generation on the test bench. The electric motor starts up and achieves an effective current of 215 ampere after a short time. It reaches a performance peak of almost 40 kilowatts, which equals about 50 horsepower. Now, in comparison, the latest generation of power electronics. Here the effective current is twice as powerful and the performance value six times higher than in the previous model. Even the driver can feel this. With our current generation, we achieved a power increase of factor six. This means that we can control a motor that is six times stronger than the previous one. And in combination with the characteristic of an electric motor, this results in maximum fun to drive. That's what you can expect from an electric car. In this plug-in hybrid, it's fun to drive means additional torque from the electric drivetrain. The acceleration of electric vehicles is well known. This wouldn't happen without a high quality power electronics. Back to the size. While the first generation of Continental power electronics weighed in at 11.6 kilograms, the latest highly compact version only weighs around 7.7 .7 kilograms. This means a weight reduction of 33%, which in turn increases the efficiency of electric drives. The power electronics of Continental is modular and scalable. This enables us to provide car manufacturers with solutions for all hybrid and electric vehicles. At Continental we have optimized the power electronics with regard to power, efficiency and size. We will continue to improve fuel economy and fun to drive.